Hello Sagittarius, this is your reading for April 2019. This is for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. If you guys are new, welcome. Please like, share, subscribe, comment. This is for Sagittarius for the month of April 2019 in love. Please show me messages for Sagittarius. I'm looking at the Eight of Pentacles that just jumped out here. Um, there's something that you guys have invested in and um, you're really trying to protect your investment is what I'm getting here okay let's see I'm gonna put this card back in here and pull your cards I like to pull these cards actually okay let's see this is what's going on around you guys currently for this month. What's challenging you? What's underlying here? Okay, two cards there. Let's see, the recent past is here. Best possible outcome. in for you guys with energy and how you're actually feeling about this situation right here what's influencing you guys for this month your hopes or fears and the overall outcome right there all right so let's see what's going on for you guys currently is the hermit Mm, a lot of you are revisiting some issues that um, have happened in the past. I feel like a lot of you are, are trying to find your way. You're trying to figure out something. And I think this has everything to do with what you have already invested your time um, and energy effort into. Okay, um, You're wanting to protect your efforts, your time time spent with someone or something for sure here and I feel like this investment involves somebody that you feel like could possibly be the one now what's challenging you guys is a six of pentacles there look at that mm. what's challenging you guys is actually um, you know not trying to divide your time up between several di different people I feel I feel there's a need for you guys to decide um, who it is you want and you know invest continue to invest even in a connection with one individual okay and to not spread yourself too thin is what I'm getting from this Taurus um, Virgo energy here Okay, now the underlying issue here, let's turn this one over first, is the Queen of Pentacles. Definitely wanting to care for someone, wanting to be faithful, wanting to be in a committed relationship, okay? That's what's going on here. Wanting to share your resources with someone. You have a feeling about this individual. Um, I feel like this is probably somebody that you have not spoken to in a while, but there is a lot that I feel like um, you guys have learned. There's a lot that you know that you probably are not sharing, okay? There's a lot that you keep to yourself. I, I feel you guys just kind of thinking about a lot of things currently. Not really doing much, but trying to figure out, you know, the best way to move here. Okay, but definitely thinking about something or someone from the past. Okay, let's see what was going on here in the past. If I can pick this card up, um, there's a King of Swords there. Either this is a Taurus, Virgo, Cap, not Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. <laughs> I'm, I'm strongly getting that there is a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn individual that is significant to you guys, but more so than that. Um, you know, it could also be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius individual that was either um, very cold, kind of removed from you guys, or this is like behavior, I feel, that you guys are thinking about, okay? Thinking about um, certain, certain situations with a person, 
Okay. Maybe you guys are revisiting the fact that, um, you know, maybe certain things that were said weren't right or certain ways that you viewed things weren't right or feeling like, you know, somebody else felt like they, you know, just knew everything, was being very cold, very aloof, very um, emotionally removed from a situation. Um, but definitely, I feel like reflecting on a certain behavior that was exhibited in the past here. Okay. Could be an older individual here in this situation. Does not have to be, but um, I'm definitely getting that there's somebody very stern here. Um, very kind of aloof. The King of Swords, the thing is, you know, they just come across kind of cold sometimes, but, you know, they actually can be very sweet. They just don't really exhibit their emotions or, or express their emotions rather like um, we would like for them to sometimes. It's the thing. But I definitely see you guys kind of reflecting on um, behavior that happened in the past. Maybe you guys felt like you, you know, really weren't, didn't give as much to a situation as you could have. Okay. Now, let's see how you're viewing this situation. The Seven of Wands. Okay. There's something that you want. There's something that I feel like you guys are striving um, towards. You're wanting to leave certain things behind, um, negative energy. You are, you know, you feel success, I mean not successful, you feel confident that uh, you can make something happen here, okay? I'm definitely getting that you know exactly what you want. And you know you can have it. There's something that I feel like you guys are striving towards. You're trying to um, obtain something here. Okay. The best possible outcome in this situation is a Knight of Cups. What you want to do is express what you want. How you feel. Make an offer here. A loving offer. An emotion filled offer. This is what I, I'm feeling you guys want so badly. There's something that you want, and I don't feel you letting anything getting anything um, letting anything get in the way of what it is that you actually want in this situation. What's coming in for you guys here is a page of swords. Hmm. I feel like um, again, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy here wanting to say something um, feeling very expressive just kind of observing um, the surroundings right now but definitely happy to happy to talk happy to express could be somebody that's younger than you guys um, you may have two different individuals one person that you're focused on and then somebody else may be focused on you guys here Okay. Again, you know, I see what's challenging you is, um, you know, basically to choose one situation to be loyal to or to to have reciprocity in and not, you know, take on too much or try to have too much on your plate, not trying to do too many things or be involved with, you know, too many people, you know, deciding who you want and going for that working on that, building on that, okay? I definitely feel there's a new um, a new interest in you guys, actually. But I feel you guys are very focused on someone in the past. Now, what's influencing the situation for the month is a Four of Swords, okay? A lot of you guys are trying to, basically, I feel, ask for assistance from um, God, from the angels, you know, you're trying to really figure out what's best for you. Definitely very spiritual energy here. Okay. I'm feeling like you guys are definitely protected. I feel like, um, you know, there is definitely assistance here for you guys to try to, you know, help you to align yourself with the path that, um, you are seeking okay 
Now, in your hopes or fears, we have the Ace of Swords here. Okay. You guys are hoping, I feel, to have, you know, this, this new idea. Um, this new revelation, something that will automatically click in you what it is that you need to do and what you need to say to be able to, you know, get what you want, to have what you want, who you want, okay? To be able to speak the truth effectively. You know, sometimes, <laughs> sometimes when we say things, you know, it, they don't always come out the right way. You guys want to, to be able to find the right words to say. And to be able to communicate that in a way that the other person can receive it is what I'm feeling here. Okay. Now, the overall outcome, we have the Ace of Wands. Look at that. Mm-hmm. You guys receiving the help that you need, the enlightenment that you need. And being able to communicate effectively and start over. Most definitely. I feel you guys starting over here. Okay. Could be an air sign. Could be a fire sign here. For sure. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. Um, we also have, I feel Scorpio is here. Uh, Taurus, Virgo. Of course, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius is strong here. And um, I feel Pisces, Cancer. Mm hmm. For sure. So that is what I have for you guys. And I will be speaking with you guys soon. Bye now.